morning america and welcome back ow behind me and you know i'll move so you can see i have everything that i thrifted while i was in europe <laughs> the past videos for the past six months I was studying abroad in Spain in Madrid this is my collection of everything that I got some of it is from thrift stores other stuff is from Vinted it's like Depop if you don't know what Vinted is it's way better way cheaper the stuff that I got for the prices that I got it at shout out to all the European grandmas who are selling all of their old clothes for so cheap. I owe you everything. I think the European clothing was just better back in the day. I mean, the American grandmas are definitely selling their things, but it's just not as good. I think most of these things are from Spain, Italy, France. I think that's where the majority of my packages came from and things I bought while being in those countries. So. Without further ado, this is everything that I thrifted while I was in Europe and try on. I put everything in three piles right here. First, you've probably seen this jacket all over Pinterest. Honestly, I didn't start seeing it until I recognized it because I had one, but it says Italia. It has these white Adidas like stripes down the side. This cute little like Italy flag patch on the back. I had to get this in Venice because it was downpouring while we were there, torrential rain, and I was on a backpacking trip for two weeks, and in my backpack, I had no room for a jacket, and this is what I got. So this is true Italian, this isn't, you know, this is real. This is straight from the streets of Italy. Next. I believe this was all vintage. I thought it was gonna give a little more baby tee and a little less tank top. It says Nike on it, obviously. Um, but it gives a little bit more tank top than I would like it to or that I planned. You know, I kinda thought it'd be like that. But once you wear it, it kinda just rides up and it looks like a tank top. So, not my favorite, but still good. Next, love these ones. Huge Adidas, gym shorts. 100% my inspo vision for these was Bella Hadid. Tank top, gym shorts, boots, such a look. Honestly, it wouldn't be until I saw it on her. And that's just her power. I don't know. They're super tomboy, super big. Love them. This is one of my favorites for sure. With this tie at the top so you can like cinch it and make it tight. And cute little pocket. It's so cute when I wear it, I'm like, mm -hmm. And it has this little character on it. Um, on the tag, its name is Artigli. I can't remember what country this was from, but this is the little character. I don't know what it is, but very Y2K, very kid core. This next one is Great Basic. This Coquette core. Is that a thing? Is Coquette core like a, or is it just Coquette? and other things are core. I don't get the whole core thing. I really don't. I see these all these tags on Depop of like, Gorp core, something core. I'm like, what are these cores? Some of them are obvious, but some of them, I'm like, what does that mean? Anyways, is this coquette? I think it is kind of. Lace, v-neck, the shoulders are laced. Most of my white tees don't make it past the season. If a few months because I sweat. So that's my one for the summer. This is an absolute banger. Got this off vintage. It says, I will not chew gum in class over and over and over and over. And I thought it was really cute. Also kind of kid core. See, I get that one, kid core, because that's obvious. I hope that's like actually what it, it has to be what it means, but kid core, I get that one. It has these little patches, like they're not just decals, straight up patches on there. There's like a little, what is that one? Flower, a little strawberry. Next, this like muscle tee. I did not bring any of my graphic tees with me to Europe. I was missing like a big, comfy, just soft graphic tee. This, it's not quite 
what I wanted, but it was one of those impulsive days where I had a vision and it needed to be bought that day for some reason. If I'm feeling that little like jersey moment, this is a good option. This one, I have worn this probably the most of everything I bought. Super thin, light, has this nice floral pattern. Very flattering, it's like tight fitting, kind of stretchy. Oh my God, this one, no. This skirt is the most bestest skirt I ever have owned, ever. I don't even like skirts that much. I'm not a skirt girly, but I am a skirt girly for this skirt. It has these cute, 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 cute little button details right here. This little zipper and the brand. Also like asymmetrical when you wear it, it like flows all crazy. It's great. The brand is EDC by eSpirit. This is a nice little lace long sleeve. Lace has just been back recently. I wish I could show the detail better, but you'll see it when I'm trying it on. Next, these shorts, they're giving like the whole boxer short trend, but they're real shorts. Um, I just loved, I'm not normally a big plaid kind of gal, but they just look like boxers made into shorts. So I got them. Next, this lace flower. Long sleeve, again, I was really feeling the whole lace trend. Has these flower patterns all over it, very light. These, I don't know if there's a word for this, but this would be like office core, nine to five core. <laughs> these pants, low waisted, little trousers. I wish they were a little bit more oversized, but I like how they fit. They're brown and they have these like little pinstripes, but it, depending on the outfit, sometimes you notice them, sometimes you don't. Very versatile. Okay, we're going through a lot of pants right now. These, I, mm, I regret this too. I made questionable packing decisions going to Europe, really, I did. I sold all my track pants. I got there and I see everyone with their cute little track pants. And I was missing my track pants so much. They're just such a good staple. They're so comfy. They're still cute, you can dress them up, dress them down. So soft. So I got these Nike ones. I think they're actually kids large, so they're not quite as baggy as some of the other track pants I had in the past, but they have nice little pockets. I love the blues. I think blue is an easy color to match with because I tend to buy a lot of navy things for some reason. Next, this adorable skirt. What brand is this? BSK? I don't know if I bought a lot from them, but super, super mini. Like my butt is out when I wear this. So I don't actually think I've worn it outside of my house besides just taking pictures. Cause the waist is a little bit too big, but that also helps cause I can pull it down to cover my butt, but it's almost like I can't, it's already so low waisted that pulling it down more to cover my butt is like, just makes it look weird. So I need to find some little um, like boy shorts to wear underneath of it. But I'm also selling this on Depop right now. So I don't know how long it will be in my possession, but great piece. These are the most freaking adorable. I had a pair of pants exactly like these when I was a little kid. They were capris. They have these pink and green little stripes down the side, this little drawstring tie, zip up pockets. The material kind of reminds me of like water resistant kind of, like the type of material when you like put water on it, it forms into little droplets and it like just drops off. That's what it feels like, super soft, cute. They have these nice little cinching ties at the bottom. Next, this tank top, it says Oxford University. Again with the navy, I'm really seeing a pattern here. I don't know, it just gets me. And then this, I loved the pink with it. I thought it was so cute. Next, there was this market every Sunday in Madrid and they had all these huge piles of clothes on the table. You have to do a lot of digging. It's like Goodwill bin, same concept. I never found anything besides this, but the one thing that I did find, I mean, I'm happy with it. Even if I found nothing after, like this was a good find. It has these sequins all over it. I love the neckline. I feel like this like kind of, I don't know what you would call it, but this neckline is like super popular right now. 
Next, I was so happy to get this. I was dying for a top like this last winter. Couldn't find it. I'm trying to remember what this is called. Not boat neck. Is it boat neck? No, it's just like off the shoulder. And it has these buttons going down the little arms. Next, I got this Ed Hardy top. I loved it because it has a whole bunch of water and the fish on it. I'd never seen like a water themed Ed Hardy top. This is going to be hard to show the full thing and I did actually quite a lot of altering on it. I did not have my sewing machine in Spain so all the altering I had to do was strictly scissors. So that was tough. Nonetheless, this really long dress. I loved the print. I loved the big flowy cut at the bottom and I cut a higher slit into the knee. It also had these like three quarter sleeves. So I cut the sleeves off. It has a really nice neckline. I think it's a lot cuter without sleeves. This pink, kind of purple, kind of plum colored tank top has a crisscross at the top and like black sparkly detailing. If you can see, I'm gonna like wave it around so you can see how it's sparkly. This is definitely one of my favorite things that I got. So flattering. The sleeves are kind of puffy because they're cinched at the bottom. This belt detail sucks in your waist like nobody's business. This was really feeling the whole like denim skirt with a pair of boots trend. And I found this at Humana, I think. I liked the little pleats at the bottom. I thought that gave it some interesting visual. It had these nice little rhinestone pockets on the front in the back the brand of this one is re the and symbol x re and x i don't get as much use out of it as i wish i did next sadly these don't fit i was going for the capri vibe and i thought the thick thick belt on these like low waisted pants was so y2k honestly out of all the pants i ordered on vintage every single one fit me like a glove fit perfectly. Couldn't ask for anything better except for these. So I'll probably put them up on Depop. Then we have this kind of 90s outdoorsy nature mom. That's how I would describe this. I love the look of shirts like this. Always drawn to stripes and collars too. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to style her. I feel like maybe my vision was a little off with this one, but I'm not giving up on her yet. Last, these jeans. They're super low waisted. They kind of reminded me of Miss Me jeans. The brand is Miss Jolie. They have a little bit of like distressing on the back. So that was my European thrift haul. Great deals. I miss you, Vented. Thanks for watching.